Hello, hello. Microphone check. Microphone check. How you doing? Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Yes, hey. we can hear you. Awesome, awesome. Got to do that microphone check. Microphone check. Make sure you can hear me. How are you today? Yeah, right. Awesome. We are okay. Awesome. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. With, with I, I feel I feel good. I feel good. Today was an awesome day. Can't complain. God is good. Feeling blessed. You know how it is. Yeah, we know. God always are good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> are you ready for your English class? Yes, we are ready. Excellent. Let's go ahead and get started, ladies and gentlemen. Who can tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class? We were talking about holidays, um, holidays date. For example, we can were, you give me an example? We were talking about celebration too. Uh -huh. We were talking about Labor Day and uh, talking Mother Day, mm -hmm. Father Day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We were talking also about them. Um, I don't know how how we can say how I can say. Uh, What's that? El Día de los Difuntos. A uh, Day of the Dead. Day, a day of, of the, the dead. dead. A day of the dead. Day of the dead. That is correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Good job. Thank you, Vicente. Who else can tell me what okay. they remember about yesterday's class? Hello there. Hey, how you doing, Brenda? Welcome to the class. You feeling sick today? Yes, I have a, a cup. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Too much air conditioner. Okay. <laughs> I, I think I think that is the um, the rain. Oh, could be the weather. Could be the weather. I was feeling a little a little um pain right here, just just a little bit, because uh yesterday. The, the air conditioning people came to give maintenance to my air conditioner. Mm -hmm. So I think that probably I was in my room and they were doing the maintenance. So I think that probably I I breathed uh, yeah, yeah. dust or something. A lot of dust from yeah. the air conditioning machine. Look, yeah. yeah. Look at uh, a Vicente. It's a uh... It's a I conditioner the the behind. No, it's a fan. <laughs> well, it's a it, little fun. <laughs> it, it, it looks like air conditioner. Yeah, but I have it in my in my window because it take uh, air from out of my house uh -huh. and put inside. Yeah, that's and good. And out is very fresh. Yeah, right now it's very cool. It's very cool outside right now. Yeah, right. <laughs> Good job. Looks like an uh, air conditioning machine. <laughs> it does look like an AC. Yes, it does. <laughs> I thought when, when I first saw it, I was like, what kind of air conditioner is that? But then when I saw that it was spinning, I was like, oh, that's a fan. <laughs> but at first right. glance, at first glance, it looks like AC. <laughs> yeah. All right, welcome back, guys. I'm happy to be here. I hope that you are as well. It's Wednesday. It's the mid of the week. Mid I hope of the that week. you, yeah, I hope that you guys have had a lot of success in your jobs, in your business, and I Thank hope you too. that you have had. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I have had a good week. I can't complain. Good deals. Excellent. Good, good deals. Yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, move forward. We're going to be looking at the next section on the 
platform. In yesterday's class, we were analyzing this section over here, talking about conversation wedding 3.7. Who can tell me what you remember from this section 3.7? What do you remember? What was this? 3.7. Who can tell me what you remember from this section 3.7? Going Somebody. to looking for it. Somebody. Anybody. Three point seven. Three points. No, three point eight. Sorry, three point eight. I'm I'm looking for it right now. Okay. Three point. So basically, three point eight was just uh in regards to the wedding, right? Dun 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 dun. Ah, uh, yeah, we don't. I right? remember. Remember, they were talking about that at the wedding, they give people sugar. And then I said, no, don't give people sugar because that's going to give you diabetes. And then everybody was laughing. And then I told you my it's sister. A movie horror. Huh? <laughs> the wedding is a movie horror. Movie horror. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't give people sugar, man. Sugar is bad. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at section number 3.9, lesson objective. By the end of this session, you will be able to notice the stress and rhythm in sentences. Uh, why is it important to be able to speak with stress and rhythm in sentences? Who can tell me why that's important? Because the int intonation is... is um very important to to sig significa significado of of a sentence meaning say, meaning, meaning of the, meaning of the uh, sentence that's right that's uh, right for example if i give you an example uh, you know how you ask people hey how are you and people say fine fine so I'm happy. happy. I'm so happy. I'm a happy man. I'm a happy boy. Right? So the words they say is that they are happy. But the uh -huh. intonation says they are miserable. Right? They're tired. <laughs> they're sleepy. They're sick. They're depressed. Right? Et cetera, et cetera. So intonation yeah, right. is very important. The way that you say something, the way that you express something, your body language, the tone of voice, uh, it says a lot about a person, you know? Um, a lot of times uh, people feel down and they don't know why, right? They don't understand mm -hmm. why. And a lot of times it's the diet. Right. If you just change your diet just a little bit, avoid sugar, eat natural vegetables, fruits, drink water instead of Coca-Cola, drink water instead of coffee. Right. Eat healthy. Take care of your body. And you're going to feel good automatically um, because your diet. Uh, a lot of people think that your your stomach and your brain is not connected. It is connected. If you eat, if you eat at lunch a hamburger, you're gonna feel tired, down, depressed, full, bloated. Um, you're you're just gonna feel bad. But if you eat a fresh salad, uh, vegetables, maybe some grilled chicken or something like that, tuna, uh, then you Fruit you're punch. yeah, some natural juice. Uh, you feel right. more energy, you feel uh, more dynamic, uh, you feel more lively, right? So it, it is, it is, it has a lot to do with it. So your intonation is very important. Uh, who works in cells? Who can tell me who works in cells in the class? Uh, um... Nobody works in cells? No, I... No, no, no. Uh, what mean in cells? Uh, ventas. Sorry. In cells. Ventas. Ah, no, no, no. I don't know. Nobody works in I cells. Don't... Okay, so in cells. Only you, uh, maybe. 
<laughs> I love it. Uh, in sales, it's very important the intonation that you use when you're talking to clients because you can have a very, very good lead, a good client. But if you're talking like, hi, this is Michael. I'm calling <laughs> because I want to buy your house. Or, or, or if you work in customer service, right? Hi, this is Michael. How can I help you? Right. <laughs> so the client cannot see you physically. They cannot see your physical uh, appearance. They can't see your body language. They can hear your voice. So yeah. your rhythm, your intonation, your stress, that's really, really important to be able to transmit uh, what it is that you are trying to express. And if you have a contagious personality, your voice is going to be the dominant force that's going to make the difference whether you make the sale or you don't make the sale. In my case, if I see a client that is like, eh, so do you want to sell your house? And I can see by the tone that they are like, eh, I don't pay attention to that client. Why? Because he's wasting my time. I can go to another client that's going to get me the sale, that's going to put money in my pocket, right? If I have a client that says, yes, I want to I want to buy the house or yes, I want to sell the house and I can see the energy, the interest, then obviously I'm going to pursue that lead, right? So your intonation, your energy, your tone of voice, that is very, very important when very you're important. dealing when you're dealing with sales. That's right. So pay attention to those people that are practicing English because they want to make more money. Pay attention to your intonation. It's really, really important. Imagine I was a teacher that every day I came into the class and I was like, Hi, class. Good How evening. Are you? Good evening. Ready Hi. to start. Hi. How are you? I'm so happy to be your teacher. What are you going to say? How are you going to feel? What is going to be your response? Because we, we're going to think that you are sick and you may go to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to pay attention to my class? No. Are you going to feel motivation to be in my class? Maybe. Maybe for respect, we're going to pay attention, but we are not uh, feeling the energy. That's right. That's right. So it doesn't make sense, right? So a lot has to do with your, your rhythm, your intonation, the way that you pronounce words, how fast you Very talk. Important. Yeah. Yeah. If you work in, if you're, if you like business, if you're a business oriented person, if you're the type of person that likes to make money, if you're the type of person that enjoys sales, pay attention to the way you talk uh, to your clients. Even if they cannot see you, your voice will speak louder than your words. Remember that. And yeah, I told right. you, and I'm the number one salesman in my company. Believe that. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and move forward. It. Yeah. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first activity that we're going to be looking at today. Uh, al final de esta lección, ustedes serán capaces de identificar la fuerza de voz y el ritmo en las oraciones. This is amazing. Así tenemos que hablar. That's right. That's right. <laughs> right. English is easy. <laughs> That's the way to gotta do. Yeah. I yeah. saw. Betty is super happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to, you have to. Because, you know, a lot of times people naturally are down. That's that's right. the reality. That's the reality. You know, people by nature are down. They're thinking about their <laughs> bills. They're thinking about their debts. They're thinking about their problems, their boyfriend, the girlfriend, they're pregnant, the husband is with another woman. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's so many, so many things that affect, yeah, yeah, affect people all day, every day. 
So you have to be a leader in your industry. You have to be the difference. You have to be the person that when they come in contact with you, you penetrate them with that with that personality. You penetrate them with that energy. And you know, and what happens? They say, "Hey, you know what? There's something different about that guy. There's something different about that girl." You know, look at everybody's face. Everybody's so sad, so depressed. But look <laughs> at that guy. What's what's so different about that guy? What's so different about that girl? Right? Why? Because you are speaking consciously. You understand the business, right? Whatever problems I have, I don't care. When I'm talking to my client, my number one goal is to get that sell, get that money in my pocket. And the only way that I'm going to do it is to be able to transmit that vibe to them, that motivation, that, that interest, right? Because if I don't do that, the next person is going to do it. And they're going to be like, you know what? I just had a boring guy call me. I didn't even want to talk to him. He was so boring. But you, I like your voice. I like the way you sound. Where are you from? And they start asking you questions. And then they are interested in you. Not because you're, you're beautiful or you're sexy or you're pretty or you're <laughs> handsome. Only because of the way that you speak and the way that you, you, you your energy, right? So if you want to make money, you got to pay attention to that, guys. Believe that. Right. Okay. Of course. Yeah. Let's watch the video and then we're going to continue. <clears throat> Please pay attention. Okay. Pronunciation. Stress and rhythm. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how stressed words and syllables occur with a regular rhythm. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Hello everyone. Now that you have listened to the previous sentences, try to give the right stress and rhythm to the following ones. Then, play the audio program to check on your pronunciation. Listen to the stress and rhythm in these sentences. Then, practice them. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Pronunciation. Stress and Rhythm. Part A. Listen and Practice. Notice how stressed words and syllables occur with a regular rhythm. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Hello everyone. Now that you have listened to the previous sentences, try to give the right stress and rhythm to the following ones. Then, play the audio program to check on your pronunciation. Listen to the stress and rhythm in these sentences. Then, practice them. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. All right. Who can tell me uh, a little bit about what these people give to the bride and groom? Who can tell me? What do they give to the bride and groom? People give them money. Money. Do you like to get money? Yes, I love money. <laughs> do you love to get money as a present for your birthday? Yes. <laughs> so I can buy what I want. That's right. But... But what happens if somebody gives you a present you don't like, right? Imagine it's your birthday and um, your boyfriend or your girlfriend <laughs> gives you socks. How do you feel? I appreciate the present. <laughs> <laughs> but do you feel, okay. but, 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 but do you feel this I... person... Do you feel that this person really 
appreciates you? Yes. Because it's Fox? he or she takes Fox? It, he, she or she, so. he or she takes the time to buy you some present. I don't think so. Don't if know. somebody gives me socks, <laughs> if, if if they think that they're gonna satisfy me with socks, they got a they got something else coming. I'm gonna be like, man, <laughs> thank you. You're, find you're find you're another not going boyfriend. To talk to them <laughs> no, <laughs> again. Because, no, because there's no interest. I mean, there's no there's no energy there. I mean, I'm not like, hoping something expensive, but maybe a, a shirt. Or maybe uh, some shoes or some pants or, you know, something thoughtful. But if you just go to the Walmart and you give me a, a, a pair of socks that are like $6 <laughs> and you say happy birthday, I'm going to be like, man, come on, man. Get out of my party. <laughs> go find a boring let's, party. <laughs> let's give me my to... food. Give me my food back. <laughs> Let's spin to Takira and give me a car. You're not invited to my next Bring party. your own food. Yeah, you're not invited. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, <laughs> yeah, a lot of times it's 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 the energy. It's the energy that you invest in people, really. The cool. All right, let's move forward. Any questions on this activity? No question. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at section number 3.11. By the end of this class, you will be exposed to adverbial clauses of time, uh, what they are and their use. In esta clase, ustedes serán expuestos a las cláusulas adverbiales de tiempo, lo que son y su uso. Uh, so basically, uh, adverbial clauses are like, for example, when you say, um, I got robbed on the bus okay what's the main idea i got robbed on the bus what's the main idea what's the main clause? The idea i got robbed talking, i got robbed talking that's, about right. that, that, that's the main idea right the main idea is i got robbed Okay, so what is the, uh, oh no, this would be the adverbial of location. All right, so this is my mistake. So on the bus will be the adverbial of location because it expresses where you are. So this is another one, adverbial of location. Location. Okay, adverbial of location. So you have the adverbial clause of time, which expresses the time, right? In the morning, in the afternoon, at night, at noon. And then you have the adverbial of location, which is the place, on the bus, at work, in the restroom, in the room, in the office, in the parking lot, on the elevator. Right, so you have two different things, adverbial of time, which is what time, and the adverbial of location, which is expressing when the activity happened. If I say to you, I got robbed on the bus in the morning, what's the adverbial of time? Morning. On the morning. And what's the adverbial of location? On the bus. The bus. On the bus. So if I say to you, I lost my cell phone at work on lunchtime. What's the ad mm -hmm. what's the main idea? I lost my cell the phone. The time and location. I lost my cell phone. All right. What's the adverbial of time? At lunch. Time. At lunch. Good job. <laughs> and what's the adverbial of location? At the in your office. Job. At work, at the office. That's right. That's right. All right. So do you understand the difference between the adverbial of time and the adverbial of location? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's watch the video. That's only a, a little explanation. All right. 
and they changed the Zoom application is weird. Hi, I have a question for you. What is an adverbial clause of time? I'll give you a hint. An adverbial clause of time can't occur alone as it needs a main idea. Stay around and listen to the explanation and follow the examples for better understanding. Adverbial clauses of time. When people clauses. get married in oh. Japan, they sometimes have the Verbal. ceremony at a show. All right, so clauses. let's look at the first one. Let's look at the first one. It says, when people get married in Japan, uh, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. So, what is the main idea in this sentence? We are talking about a uh, location of Japan. That is and correct. And also a special um, ceremony. Correct. And what's the adverbial clause of time? Um, when? when people get married very good and what is yeah. the what is the adverbial of location the location in is japan. the in country japan, in japan and at a shrine do you know what is a shrine no no okay so a shrine is very shrine. similar for like a church right uh ah. in, in our part of the world, we say church. church. In, in places like Japan, they say shrine because you know they practice. Uh, I think they practice. Buddhism. Is the same as temple? Temple, correct. Yes, yes. All right, let's continue. Shrine. After shrine. the food is served, the guests give speeches or sing songs. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. We're going to break this for you so you may understand it better. There are many types of adverbial clauses, but in this session we want you to learn about adverbial clause of time. Let's define what an adverbial clause is. An adverbial clause of time describes or defines the when something happens. When adverbial something happens. Adverbial clauses of time are easy to identify so, because they begin adverbial with a clause of time expresses when speaking about time and the adverbial clause of location ex asks where 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 did yeah. it happen when in conjunction for example when after before since until while whenever all right let's go ahead and uh take a look at these right here repeat after me when when after when, when. After. After. after before before. Before. Since. 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 Until. 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 While. 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 When, whenever. 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 Okay, who can give me a sentence? Give me a sentence uh, using when. Me, teacher. Okay. When I was a child, I was very happy. <laughs> All right. That sounds good. <laughs> because I didn't have any doubt. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't work. <laughs> All right. You don't like your job. <laughs> I like it, but <laughs> I need more money. <laughs> ah, okay. So I'm looking I'm looking for another job. <laughs> Well, English will open up a lot of opportunities. Um, right now, there are many, many different platforms online. I hope, I hope. Yeah, Overpass is one platform that you can go on Google uh, and find a job, remote work, making good money from El Salvador to the United States, Overpass. Uh, another platform that you can look up is um, uh, Overpass. One Upwork. Upwork is another platform that's really, really good to find work okay. in the United States. Um what's the other one. Oh, also LinkedIn. I recommend you get you create a very professional profile on LinkedIn. And you can also find a, a good job making good money from your house 
a, in sales or like a VA. A VA means virtual assistant uh, online from home. But obviously, from you home. have to you have to speak English. That's right. Of uh, course. The yes. next one. Huh? Yes. Uh, can you write down in, on the chat this page? Overpass. Yeah. Okay. For well, example, uh, after. After, after, yeah. Give me an example with after. After class, I will have party. After oh class, my God. I will have a party. <laughs> so right now you you're are gonna, getting you're, ready. You're going to go dance. You're going to go dance. <laughs> my God. Isn't this an example? It's an example. <laughs> <laughs> Friday night, Friday night. Friday night. Friday night, yeah, yeah. The overpass, and then another one that's very good is uh, Upwork. 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 An, another platform Upwork. that's very good. Upwork. And then there's also LinkedIn. LinkedIn, you Upwork. can find a good connection on LinkedIn. Work. You just got to create your, your profile. Right, so here you have three platforms where you can look for a job online making a lot of money from home. Okay, thank you very much. Oh yeah, you got it, easy money. You know how we do it, help each other. That's the reason that we are studying We're, English. We are, living, we are living in this thing called life together. <laughs> Nobody okay, is alone. Okay, let's go. Uh, let me see. One example with before. One example with before. Vicente. Yes, teacher. <clears throat> Before begin the the classes, I was in my job. Very good, very good. So Vicente says, before, before the class started, I was at work. At work. At work. Good, good. All right, uh, another example with since. Who can give me an example with since? Can I try me? Brenda. Okay, um, example since, right? Yeah. Susan has changed a lot since I last saw her. Okay, very good. Susan has changed a lot since I last saw her. Okay, Brenda, please put your microphone on silence because there's a lot of noise. Uh, sorry, sorry. In your room. Yeah. Okay, Susan has changed a lot since i last saw her good job Teacher, yes yes and can i say things i remember i like the language repeat repeat things things i remember i like the english uh you could say since i remember no 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 no, no. you can say okay. i i i like the language i like I like English. I like English ever since I can remember. Yeah, I like English ever since I can remember. Okay, thank you. Yeah, good. All right, good job. Let me have another example with until.
until until uh, what does it the meaning until okay okay so, for example for example you're gonna you can say you can say i will not stop trying i will not stop trying until i achieve my goals i will not stop trying until i achieve my goals or for example for example you tell okay, your children okay. you can tell your children hey you can't go play until you finish your food you you finish the homework that's right you can't go play until you finish your homework homework perfect good job all right another example is uh Vicente. we are in class yes teacher another example is we are in class until nine o'clock yes we are in class until a, yeah you can say that we're in class until nine o'clock yeah you can say that all right Give me an example with while. 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 Stay here for a while. Stay here for a while. Nice. Wow, he sent us on fire. Stay here <laughs> for a while. I like that. I like that. Good energy. Thank you, teacher. Uh, another example. Well, keep on driving while there's still daylight. Good job. Good job. Uh, they are still driving while there is daylight. Excellent. Correct. Other example. Uh, Edgar. I I like to pay close attention while I am having my class. Good job. Very good. I am laser focused while I am in class. You know what happened to me? You want me to tell you what happened to me? I was yes. I was taking a, a class in uh, digital marketing uh, online and uh man I I didn't pay attention you know I I had the class I was in the class I paid the class but I only turned off the camera put <laughs> put myself on mute and watched Netflix <laughs> <laughs> and then you are not interested in class. And then when the teacher was saying the the attendance, I would put pause on the Netflix and then I would <laughs> turn on the camera and say present. <laughs> and, and then continue, man. Uh, now I have to repeat uh the class, the digital class, because I need it for my business. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, I, I got to pay again. Uh, let's take attendance, guys. It's already 838, so I got to take the attendance right now. So when I call your name, please say present. Please okay. say present. Ada. Present. Good job. I am paying attention. I like Mr. that. I like, I like that. I like that. You will learn like that. Uh, Alicia. Present. Good job. Anna. Sorry, sorry. Elizabeth. 
<laughs> yeah, she doesn't like Anna. Elizabeth? She doesn't like. Yeah, right. Elizabeth? If she doesn't answer, you to say, Anna Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think Elizabeth is absent. I don't see Elizabeth. Okay, she's absent. Absent, Elizabeth. Um, Andrea. Here, teacher. Good job. Brenda. Presente. Thank you. <laughs> Cecilio. <laughs> Present. Good job. Present. Very good. Claudia. Present, teacher. Excellent. Edgar. Present teacher. Very good. Eugenio. Present, mister. Awesome. I'm here. Awesome, Eugenio. Giovanni. Giovanni. Is absent. Okay. Uh, Jennifer. Present teacher. Very good. Juan. Present teacher. Excellent. Lenin. Present. Fantastic. Lorena. Lorena. Absent. Oh. Luis. Present, present. Good job. Good job. Maria. Present. Very good. Noe. Present, present. Great. Norma. Norma. He sent a message to the chat. Fantastic. Olivia. Present. Thank you. Oscar. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Sandra. Sandra. In the chat, puso present, teacher. Thank you. Sarai. Present teacher. Fantastic. Vicente. Yes, teacher, here I am. Excellent, excellent. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and uh, move forward. The last one that we're going to be looking at is whenever. 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 Who can give me an example with whenever? Me? What does it mean whenever? Okay. Uh, let's give Brenda a chance and then I will give you an explanation. What is the meaning whenever? Go ahead, Brenda. Always, always <laughs> love your car whenever you leave it. Oh, okay. All right. You can say, for example, I enjoy your company whenever you give me a ride. Could be. I enjoy your company whenever you give me a ride. So whenever... Is basically uh, like a generalization of time, right? Not not specific time. It's like mm -hmm. general. Uh, for mm -hmm. example, for example, uh, another example. Yeah, Vicente. Uh, you, another example is uh, you can call me whenever you want. Perfect. Perfect. You can. Call me. call me. I think you whenever. should be in the advanced class. 
you can call me whenever <laughs> whenever you, you want. want that's right or like or like when or like on instagram <laughs> <laughs> call me please <laughs> yeah yeah whenever or, or, your, or, or when you are in in the grocery store or in the gym right <laughs> <laughs> Call me whenever you want. It it doesn't matter midnight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you understand? Whenever I got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we got it. Thank right. you. Yes, of course. Let's continue. We invite you to ask your teacher to give you a list of subordinating conjunctions as a reference. You may be wondering what does a subordinating conjunction do? A subordinating conjunction joins two sentences, one sentence being called dependent or subordinated and another sentence being independent or main clause. As said in the intro video, an adverbial clause of time can't occur on its own because it makes no sense. It is not complete. We will take a look at some examples. Once you see them, you will know what we're talking about here. When she comes home, she will read a bedtime story. Let's analyze this sentence. When is a subordinating conjunction or adverb. She is the subject, comes the verb. Now, when she comes home, altogether is a subordinating or dependent clause, meaning it is not complete. It depends on some other idea. You expect more information. She will read a bedtime story is a main clause or independent clause, meaning it makes perfect sense alone. What we're doing now is making a more complex sentence. Let's work with another example. Before she went to school, she finished all her homework. I will give you a couple of minutes to break down this sentence. Try to do as we did on our previous example. It's cold, Mister. It's cold. So let's do it together. Before subordinating conjunction or adverb, she okay. the subject, went the verb. Before she went to school is a subordinated or dependent clause, and she finished all her homework is a main or independent clause. Excellent, well done. Before we go, it is important for you to know that an adverbial clause of time can appear either at the beginning of the entire sentence or in the middle of it. It is okay to say, since they got married, they have traveled around the world, or they have traveled around the world since they got married. The only difference is the use of a comma if the subordinating conjunction begins the sentence. Can you give us now two examples? Do so in our discussion box. Okay, now for this section, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here where it says uh, discussion and you're going to come and click where it says añade una publicación and here you're going to put uh, time clauses and here you're going to give me five examples. Using the last word we are studying yeah, you can use uh, since, whenever, until, when, and then when you finish, you're going to put NBR. Any questions? Yes, please. Uh, could you, um, I don't know if you can put the screen where yes. the, the word. A subordinating conjunction yes. identified because they begin. Before adverbial point now is making a more complex sentence. Let's work with another example down this sentence. She, the sad part, is a main. Before we go, it is important for you to know that an adverbial here at the beginning of the is okay to say, since Sorry. they got home, she will read a bedtime story. At the beginning, Once I you guess. see them, you will a subordinating conjunction join after, there. before. Yeah, right, right. Thank when, you, I got it. When, Thank you, teacher. Okay, when, after, before, since, until, while, or whenever. So that's going to be your homework. All right, let's look ah, at 313. 
instructions. Read the sentences and match these phrases with the information below. Instructions. Lea las oraciones y combínalas con la información siguiente. Let's check it out. Number one, before a man and woman get married, they usually... Oh. Date each other for Date about a year. Each other for about a year and save a lot of money because it's expensive. <laughs> right. Yeah. And if she's broke and he's broke, oh, it's going to be a broke wedding. <laughs> mm. Don't invite me to that wedding. <laughs> it's a joke it's a joke <laughs> right all right number two when a couple gets engaged the man often gives the woman a diamond ring Woo! gives the woman a diamond ring do you know how expensive Very it's a Very diamond expensive. ring. No, no, no. Who knows what is the price of a normal diamond ring in El Salvador? A normal. I'm not talking about uh, extravagant diamond ring. I'm talking about a normal, regular, everyday diamond Tengo ring. Tengo la joyería de cuánto cuesta el mío. <laughs> mire, mire, vale más el oro del anillo que el diamante. No le compran el diamante. Uh -huh. Le compran el oro y no le compran el diamante. Ya, yeah. como ya está cortado, I'm telling What? you. ¿Ah? Uh -huh. Es más fácil What? vender el anillo que vender el, el, el diamante porque los joyeros, eh, cuando, cuando un diamante ya está cortado, it's already fixed, they can't sell it. What? Yeah. I don't buy it. Well, try it. I'm telling you because I have a $4,000 uh, diamond ring and the jewelers will not buy the ring with the diamond. They will only buy the gold. They'll tell you, look, I'll buy the gold, but they don't want the diamond <laughs> ring. Yeah, because it's difficult to sell a diamond ring. It's difficult. It's very difficult. Que, it's, it's only for... Hay que pedirle a, a, al esposo o al novio que le regale el diamante completo en ese caso. Yeah, no, if you buy a diamond ring, it's, it's forever. It's, it's, it's done. It's forever. It's forever. It's not for yeah. sale. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, the normal diamond ring costs about $3,000, $2,500. Yeah, un carro. Ahí anda un carro en el dedo. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> BMW, the voice of experience. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Show us your. Show make, us your fingers. Make sure. No, no, not me. Not me. I. I nah, not me. Any? No, no. Uh, I. I bought a diamond ring, and then the relationship finished, and now I'm stuck oh with a diamond God. ring. You know, and I can't sell it. They won't buy it. And you say, and you say her, hey, please give me back. <laughs> That's right. My <laughs> give me back, my give me ring. back my four thousand dollar ring. <laughs> give me back my ring. It costs yeah. too much. It's four thousand dollars. It's a lot of money. You can I need buy a, a car. I need a car and a motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, number three. Number three. And number three, right after, right after a couple's couples get engaged, 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 engaged. Right after a couple gets engaged, uh huh. They usually begin begin not, to play the wedding. wedding. They begin to plan the wedding. Good job. Correct. All right. 
Number four. When a, when a woman gets married, mm -hmm. her family usually date each other for about a year. Okay, when a woman gets married, her family usually date each other for about a year. Mm, Juan, yeah. I don't think so, Juan. Be sure uh, pay for the wedding <laughs> and reception. Why no? Uh, I'm sorry. One person? Pay for wedding. Okay, pays for the wedding and reception. For the wedding and reception. Her family usually pays mm -hmm. for the wedding ah, and sure. reception. Yeah, sorry. It's correct. Well, I mean, I don't agree with that. I think that when they're going to get married, maybe it should be like half and half, right? Half her family, half his family. You know, it's not fair. Only one family pays for the whole thing, right? It's expensive. Mm -hmm. So I think that's not right. Mm, yes. You can write on paper a lot of things. Yeah. Okay, number five, and get a prenup. Get a prenup. Do you know what is a prenup? No. I don't know. Does An agreement. Know? That's correct. Get a prenup. What mine is mine, what's yours is yours. Ah, when we yeah. separate, you got your things. Separate. I got my. Yeah. In 2023, that's necessary. The best option. Yeah, in 2023, <laughs> it's the intelligent thing to do. Because if you don't, hmm, I'm sorry for you, my friend. <laughs> number five. Every, number five. Everything go out of. Everything is money. Number five. <laughs> when people are invited to wedding, they oh, almost minutes. always. Oh, minutes. Can I? Oh, come on. Yeah. Okay. The bride and groom a gift. Okay. When people are invited to a wedding, invited. They more, almost uh, also. Okay, wedding. Uh, sorry. How? Oh. Invited. Wedding? Invited. Almost uh, always. Wedding. Okay. They almost always give the priest and groom a uh, gift or some. Money. Money, good. Bride. Bride. Give the bride. bride groom. Ah, bride, bride. Okay. Give bride. Or some money. Okay. Okay, thank you. And pampers. <laughs> A lot of pampers. <laughs> <laughs> Number six. Yeah. Yeah, pampers are expensive. I'm telling you. Of course. I, pampers uh, are expensive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. they are expensive. And they and they only sell the little package for the baby papers, the little package, ten dollars. And then you got the similar, yes. the similar container, the little one, twenty dollars. Every... It's a new gold. <laughs> yeah. You're not working, you're not working for you anymore. You are an employee of your baby. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's reality. The, number the six. sands are very expensive. Yeah, number six. Right after a couple get married, they usually... Usually go or go, usually? Go on a short trip. Usually. Right usually or usually? Usually. 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 Correct. Go on go a short, on a short trip, 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 trip honeymoon. Oh, <laughs> oh, honeymoon <laughs> in Hawaii. I wanna love you <laughs> in the beach. <laughs> in Honolulu. <laughs> okay. All right. Good job. All right, guys. Mister. Hi. No, no, continue. <laughs> no, no, we're finished. It's already uh, almost time to go. I got a, I got another <laughs> class coming right up. Okay, 
uh, good class, good class. We had a good time today, a lot of laughter, uh, a lot of information, right? That's the idea, uh, not to be yep. boring or bored. You know, I know that it's not easy to sacrifice time. You know, I know that you can be with your family, with your friends, relaxing, watching TV, whatever. You know, so I I appreciate that you invest uh, time, energy, attention, which is the most important and the most precious thing that you have. So I I appreciate okay. that. Thank you for all right, your guys, support. Thank you all. You have a good night. Uh, continue working on the platform. If every if you finish okay. section three, please finish the midterm. Tomorrow midterm. we will. Tomorrow we're going to concentrate on finishing the midterm. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Good okay. Night. See you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Good night, everybody. Have a good night. Bye bye. Bye. Hey, see you. Senor, it's very quiet today. <laughs> What? <laughs> Eugenio is very quiet today. Ah, uh, very quiet. What happened, Eugenio? <laughs> what? Yeah, busy, I guess. Okay. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye, guys. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.